It's me, Julius. Welcome to my show, Indulge with Julius. Today, I'm at Autotopia in Los Angeles. We're gonna be taking out this lovely Barracuda out from the Fast and Furious movie, six and seven. That's ridiculous. So what I have a little treat in this episode is my signature roast beef sandwich. We've got yuzu with the microgreens, unami bomb. And to talk more about the car and the business of Autotopia, I'm bringing in my friend and guest and owner of Autotopia. Hey. I'm the winner! <laughs> hey, this is Sean. <laughs> hey buddy, how you doing? Good man. I'm ready to eat your sandwich, by the way. Uh, Everything I say to him sounds weird. It sounds like there's some in yeah, so, there's not. So what I've made... But I do love you. Yeah, You're great. so I'm going to show you how to make my signature beefy, very beefy, <laughs> roast beef sandwich. Sorry, vegetarians. I'm going to be offending you. There's a pound of meat on that sandwich today. So, sorry. I'm a total uh, it's carnivore. It's all about you know, fast cars and beef sea sandwiches today. I mean, tell me a little bit more about the car itself here because yeah, I'm dude. infatuated with the car. Here's the truth of it. This car is what the devil would drive. Look at it, it's just Hi. evil, right? So it started as a 1970 uh, Cuda. At the end of Fast and Furious 6, it's just, it shows up for a blip in the movie um, and they got so much response for it that they yeah. decided to make the car Letty's car in Fast 7. What's next for Autotopia? Bunch of stuff. We got a, a new company car next week coming in, which I'm super stoked about. Nice. The new ZL1. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. The new ZL1. Yeah. We're about to launch a YouTube channel because we do. Yes. We're involved in so much cool car-related content stuff. Um, what else? Continuing to fill up the garage with more and more cars. 59, man. 59. 59, fully restored. Car has less than a thousand miles on it since the wow. restoration. It started as a private garage for my brother and some of his friends, and then that evolved into what we are now, which is a full service storage and concierge facility. So we take care of people's cars, uh, anything from just simple storage on up to full maintenance, uh, upgrades, managing custom builds, taking cars to media and press, and creating fame with them. Like, you know, we have a Mustang back here called the Vicious Mustang that's yeah. sick. 1,200 horsepower, and that car is, is sitting over there. Ridiculous. And it's, and it's, and it's you know, it's, it's created a life of its own. I mean, this car has 20,000 so followers. So on has Instagram. this car right here, you know? I mean, 750 horses. Beefy car, beefy roast beef sandwiches coming your it's way. It's gonna be awesome. You know, here's how you make one of my favorite roast beef sandwiches. If you're going out on a racetrack and you don't have a grill, you don't want to have access to, you know, cooking equipment, hey, Make a roast beef sandwich. A roast beef sandwich. I have a giant baguette that has been sliced completely open. I made a little vinaigrette with a little bit of yuzu, which is a Japanese citrus, some apple cider vinegar, and some olive oil. One teaspoon, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of each. You're gonna be dressing this lovely Japanese microgreens in that vinaigrette. I'm basically making a little micro salad for this sandwich. Also, I went to the market and I saw something that popped out to me. I like horseradish on my roast beef and mustard. And for some heat, I've got a little pepperoncinis on here. Woo! -hoo. You know, a little woo -hoo. Over here, roast beef from Boar's Head, monster cheese, your pepper jack, your Japanese microgreens, salami sausage, you've got your baby Japanese cucumbers, tomato, you got a little cu couple cornichons, and a little torigashi. I'm gonna put this mustard down. You have that lovely dressing here that I was discussing. And now we're just gonna, see this? I'm just gonna spoon that over. You've got a lovely little mixed green salad on your sandwich. Bring your tail on there. Couple of gloves. There we go. Boom. It's gonna go right on top, a little kick. Boom. As well from Boar's Head. Has an arugula after note. Uh, light spice. And you've got some corner shones here. If you don't have a, some form of a pickled item on your sandwich, it's not a sandwich. Avocados. Okay, be careful. Don't slam your knife holding this or stabbing it like this. I have seen so many people do that and 
didn't turn out too well for them. Just slightly, do this. Tap, turn, tap, turn, and then boom, it just comes off like that. All right. We're gonna put the top on. Just like that. One more time for the base. Yeah. You see how big this is? Sandwich is ready. Time to go for a spin. I'll catch you guys later. You ready for this? Oh man, let's do this. There you go. There are a group of guys who get in the shop and they talk through their ideas. Exactly. And they start cutting and building and you know, and some yeah. shit works, some doesn't. You know, but this this is like this is one of the older school type builds. What got you going on food? Like what made you go, you know, I mean, like we all think of all kinds of things. I want to be a race car driver. I well, want to be it was a initially, it was, it was my mom who wanted me to, you know, who kind of like spiked me and wanted to become a chef. She's a phenomenal chef herself. She's a private chef right now. And she's got her own baking school. She's got, my mom, my parents have their own little farm. So she makes her own cheeses on the farm. So she's, 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 she's the, the one that got She's the reason why. You. I've got, you know, burn marks on my hands and arms and cuts, you know, because... Wait, she used to torture you? No! <laughs> but, uh, but that's what happens when you're in the kitchen, you get burned and cut, you know? <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, that was amazing! That was awesome. I mean, that was just beautiful. Now, tell you what, you know what time it is now? It is time to eat. <laughs> All right, guys, it's ready to serve the sandwich. Uh, again, thank you, Sean, for having, having me here at Autotopia. Yeah, it was a phenomenal ride. Now it's time to eat. Order is up. I've got them all here. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, Indulge with Julius. Make sure you also follow Autotopia and all the social media outlets. So in here, we have the cucumbers. We have... And here we have got the rose beef. You've got that microgreen salad that I made oh, that's with the, what it is, with the yuzu in with the yuzu in it. I've got cucumbers, avocado in there. Uh, oh, dude, this is so good! Literally a pound of meat on all five sandwiches here. So there we go. When you tell I'm a car guy, I have no manners. Sandwich time. I'm eating like a total pig. All right, thanks, guys. Again, thank you for tuning in. Radical. Auf Wiedersehen. Very good. How is that? Oh my god. We've got obviously a lot of cool cars here yeah. at the shop. You Come know. check them out. One of my Autotopia. favorite muscle cars. Go check them out on their on their social media websites. Go follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and you can even find them on Autotopia. Autotopia. Autotopia, Autotopia LA, man.